And now, ladies and gentlemen, it brings us to that time of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event. This special main event contest, once again, is scheduled for three three-minute rounds, but there is a knockout bonus, so who knows if this one will go the distance. Full Muay Thai rules between two legends of the sport. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, he comes to the ring with an unbelievable record of 264 wins from 329 contests from Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Singdam Kiat Mukau. Well, I tell you something, everyone who's everyone who's into Muay Thai has been looking forward to this fight. And Liam, this is a rematch and Singdam has, has actually beat Sanchai before, hasn't he? Yeah, Vinny, I think this might be the fifth or sixth time these guys have fought. Um, I've been at three of them myself at the Lumpini Stadium. I was at the last time when I think won as well. It was a great fight. But this with a knockout bonus on hand, they're both going to be fireworks. They're both going to be really going for it. Well, I was in Thailand in 2004 and I actually had the privilege of seeing Singdam. So it, that proves, and he was at the top then, and he's still at the top now. There's a lot of longevity with him, isn't there? Yeah, he, he doesn't tend to get involved in too many wars. He's very good clinching. Very good technician. And facing got a devilish right evening, kick. I've never seen it, or right kick like, like it in my life. He's, so he's got all the tools to, to really no trouble Sanchai tonight. Well, Sanchai, the, the consummate professional, the uh, computer, the as they call him, in Thailand, a very, very intelligent, also a southpaw. So it's going to be the slick skills of the little little wizard, as they say, and the skill of the hard kicking Sanchai. So Ladies King Star, sorry, uh, sing down Cat Moon Nine. Liam, wild you've shared Sanchai. the ring with Sanchai, and is there a blueprint Sanchai to beat him? Um, obviously, sometimes he has struggled with the, the tall, tall, uh, clinch style fighters, like now, Yodwich, uh, but for me, I couldn't get past him three times. He is absolutely amazing. Of the past, the past 15 years, I think this guy is the best, best fighter to come out of Thailand, not only Thailand, the world. Well, there you go then with well, Liam Harrison, as you know, only mixing with the very, very best. He's been at the top level himself for quite a few years. Well, this little man, the a smile across his face, he shakes his hips, he dances, but I tell you something, he's extremely talented. Disappointed me on the last show, really, against De Solek. Um I thought that was a bit of a, a bit of a more of a demonstration than a fight, and I think he, uh, he's got his act together. So to speak, he is in Thailand here, so he will have to fight. It's a three, three minute rounds contest. There's a lot of people really been talking about this one. Liam, it'll be a three round contest to you, so do you think that they will uh, go all out, guns blazing? Um, there's not going to be a feeling out process. I think it's going to be straight into the action, especially with the, the KO bonus at hand as well. I think both these fighters might be looking um, for that knockout, letting some real vicious shots go from the off. Well, hey, the introduction for our very uh, Swiss looking. Dougie McAdam, the golden larynx of Glasgow. So this should be a very, very interesting contest indeed, these two absolute superstars. Yokau bringing you the very, very best here on Yokau 5. So Liam, what will be the battle plan for Singdam? Will he, what do you think his, uh, his best assets and what do you think he should do? Um, his best asset is obviously uh, his right kick and his height. Um, I think he'll be looking to use that right kick, maybe even take the fight into the clinch, use his height, use his range against Sanjay. Um, the last time I saw these two fight, that's what he, he really worked on. He slammed that right kick in. He's got real power behind it as well, so he might be looking to do that one. We might even see a few more boxing combinations and elbows from the guys in this fight as well, especially with that KO bonus at hand. So it's going to be really interesting to see whether the KO bonus and the three rounds change both fighters' tactics. Well, there you go then. You couldn't get a better advice than the man that's mixed it with these at the very, very top level in their own country as he elects to take this fantastic sport of Muay Thai to the audiences around the world. But Sanchai does tend to, well, clown a bit, ladies and gentlemen. It, it can um, leave a sour taste in some people's mouths. Um, but nevertheless, you cannot deny the blessings he has of an extremely high skill level. Uh, without doubt. These last few fights, though, as well, I've seen a bit more aggressive side to Sanchai. I think his last fight was against Andrea Kubin. 
and he, he really did a number on him. He was very sharp, very aggressive. That was a three round fight. So whether the three round makes a difference to how his, his style is, then we'll see again in this one. When you fought him last time in uh, China, Liam, you really hammered the lead leg of Sanchai. But even though he dances and messes around, it, behind that is a very, very tough man, isn't there? He's very tough. Over 300 fights, only ever been stopped once. No matter how many skills you've got in 300 fights, you are going to get caught and tagged every now and then with big, big shots. This man has only ever crumbled once when I think he was 19 years old to the then probably the best fighter in Thailand. He was Tong Chai, Tor Chai. Apart from that, I've never even seen him really wobbled with any any punches. I mean, he has got a great chin, he's got great reactions, he's got a great all-round defence, but he is very, very tough as well. Well, there you go. This is the smile, the genteel movement of the Ramway dance as they pay homage and tribute to their teachers and, and the parents and the homeland. I, I believe, wasn't Sanchai stopped with a cut against um, Orono Majestic many uh, years ago? No, he didn't get stopped. Or did, did he, he stop he, Orono? He, no, he did get cut very bad in that fight and he, 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 he went on to lose on points. Right. Um, I think he got cut early doors and he, there was a lot of blood flowing into his face throughout the last three rounds of the fight and it caused him to lose the fight. Um, I think they rematched after that and Sanchai was quite convincing as well. So will we see the cartwheel kick of Sanchai, the shaking of the hips and the dance, or will he take Sindam seriously? He's going to have to, to be honest, because uh, I don't think Sindam Kiatmunai is going to come to uh, play, is he? No, oh, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I think we still might see a few crowning tricks from Sanchai for the crowd, but he's going to have to be on top of his game. He won't be able to take liberties like he can do with any lesser fighter because Sindam... He's one of the one of the best fighters in the world, so there's gonna be no no room for showboying really. So here we go then, Sanchai in the red and in the green, Singdam. Slight advantage in height to Singdam. Well these two really though, Liam, I mean age-wise, they're in the they're in the twilights of the career, aren't they? Yeah, I think Sanchai is about 33, Singdam must be around similar age, both been at the top level for the same amount of time really, for years and years, probably around ten years. You'd think these guys would be slowing down, but they're not at all. They're still there. They're still fighting the main bouts in Lumpini. And they're just not slowing down at all. Well, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, because here it is, the main event between these two absolute superstars. And just rightly so, they're still at the top of their game when other fighters have retired many years ago, maybe even 10 years before this. So these guys are the absolute geniuses of this beautiful sport that is Muay Thai. I think I read somewhere as well that Sanchai this year has had 11 fights already. That is a lot of fights to have an easy fighting basically nearly every month. There's a right kick that I've seen them already to the arm of Sanchai. It's just no feeling out process with this one, Liam. I think they will go for it. Straight away, that right kick has seen them slamming it in straight away. Not sure what weights. Fights like I said, Sanchai looking very short, very mus muscular. Doesn't like he's bleached down too much to struggle to make a way. Looking very strong. And keeping that right hand next to his head, sing down because of the very dangerous high kick of Sanchai as well in the, the green and yellow sing down. There's no showboating so far, Liam, which I find interesting already, so he, he does highly respect. Yeah, fighter. without that, but these two know each other inside out, I think. I think they both know, I think Sanchai knows how good and how strong Singdam is. I think they know he won't be able to get away with too much. One mistake at this level, even someone of Sanchai's calibre, one mistake against someone like Singdam, then you're going to be made to pay for it. Just makes him miss by centimetres of the high knee. And Singdam is trying to establish his range and his distance. All right, kick. That'll, be, that'll be hurting against the arms, whether it's in the arms or the ribs, it's nice. that one's going to really take a toll of Sancho keeps letting him blast that one in. Just see a nice right hand from Singdam down the, down the middle, but some really good defensive skills from Sancho. He's obviously done his homework, hasn't he, since the last fight and had to block these very well. Yeah, nice take down there from Sancho as well. Still playing the kicking game at the minute, we've not seen too many hands, so we're going to see that as the, the three rounds pan out, people going for the, the knockout bonus. Not really a clincher, is he? Uh, 
hitting them either, so it, should, it could be a kicking war, this. He's having a good look, really, Sanchez. Not much as he normally does in the first round of these three round fights, but, and again, it's what Singdam are allowing to do, Liam. Yeah, he's, um, he's got to get past that right kick first. I mean, San uh, Singdam's got the, the range and the height. So one there again, he's knocking knocking Sanchai back with that right kick every time it lands. There's some big power behind it. Yeah. He really looks up for this, doesn't he, Singdam? Yeah, look, look very focused, very sharp. Nice, very yeah. nice. Sneak that in very well. And again, back down to the leg. Got good fakes, hasn't he, Sanchai, uh, the, as the, well? The fakes, are, they're unbelievable. The subtle stuff that even the crowd won't be able to really see. When you stood in front of him and he's doing that stuff, it's very off-putting. And one, one, you see one slight gap in your defence and you've been kicked. Well, there you go. They're the man who knows what it's like to be kicked by Sanchai. I'm glad I didn't all be kicked by Liam. The Hitman Harrison, the three-time world champion Liam, the first round, who would you give that to? He was very close, I mean, there wasn't too much clean that landed, um, but I think Singdan did come off with a few more kicks. He's, he's worked a bit harder, but he was close. 10-10 to start a Singdan for me. Well, there you go. So, as we go into round two, ladies and gentlemen, Yokao bringing you what an absolute fantastic show here in Thailand. As the Muay Thai Combat Mania continues. And Yokao established itself as the premier Muay Thai show that everyone wants to watch. So if you're a big fan of Muay Thai, you'll be enjoying this. And if you're not a fan of Muay Thai, you will be after it. So I'm Vinny Shawman and we have Liam Harrison here. And this already, the intricacy of Muay Thai will be shown. And I'm sure now they'll start to, hot, they'll start to heat up and start to throw a, some techniques with a bit more venom now they've thrown the gaps, Liam. Yeah, it might be interesting now, see the hands and the elbow start to come into it a little bit more. That like knockout bonus is there, don't forget. Like you say, going to heat up a bit this round. Well, round two then, Singdam, Kiatmu 9 in the yellow and green, and Sanchai in the red and white. That, the long knee, nicely bought by Sanchai though, great, great awareness. The left hand, oh, round the side as well, just stepping off to his right and causing Singdam some problems with that. But he's elected to stand right in front of him, hasn't he, Liam? Yeah, he's a nice left straight left really there. Really nice. The pick definitely picked up the pace this round. Yeah. Sanchai's awareness on that right kick, he's lean back, he, like you said before, he makes it miss by just centimetres. It's a good knee, but by Singdam as well. Really blasting that right yeah. kick and he's scoring well with that. Quite a quiet crowd here because they're just really mesmerised by these two special fighter skills. Nice kick across the back there, good scoring from Sanchai. Beautiful block and a lean back and another lean back, unbelievable skills. Awareness is incredible, isn't it? Well, that knee as well from Singdam looks dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah, very dangerous. Very tall, got good range, got long legs as well, so it comes from out of nowhere. Steps in with the left knee. It's the subtle things that I understand, Liam, the way he steps around, just makes the technique miss. It, that, it, all it takes from me is one slight step, one step away, and it just makes that, that technique miss by that centimetres. Nice but like blocking skills as well from Sancho there. Poetry in motion here, ladies and gentlemen, as you're watching two of the very, very best. Indeed. He's up for this, isn't he? Both. The, he's up for this, though, isn't he, uh, Singdam? Definitely. Yeah, he's yet elected to find the back foot. Sancho's coming forward now. Nice block. Nice. Yeah, down well. Really nice. Both must acknowledge each other's skills, so the skill level here you're watching is absolutely the cream of the crop. Yeah, without doubt, a lot of the times these guys, they're so good, they're nullifying each other's techniques a lot of the time. That's right kick from Singham. Just going into the clinch there, they're both not really wanting to throw much here. Just sitting down and just monkey oh, climb monkey there. Climbing an elbow. That one with a for the fans, not really scoring, not come really causing too much damage, but Singdam having a laugh at it there. Sanchez 
Sanchez as well. Beautiful again. The he's just, and as well as Billy Sanchez moving to his own left, he's still moving into the power leg of, of Singham, yet he's got the skill level to just cope with it. Superb to watch, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely unbelievable. Blocked one kick, missed the middle of a miss, then kicked across the back. And again, beautiful, nice scoring. And I think those two back kicks there have just took that round for Sanjay. Well, there you go then. So, two rounds, sorry. The second round to Sanjay. That's for two rounds down. And as I say, you know, it's interesting what you were saying before because I remember in 2009 when I went, uh, 2004, I apologise, when I seen uh, Singdam, uh, Katmun and, and, and Kongi Poppins and various. And when I watched them, because I wasn't as educated as I am now, because people like you and people explain it to me, it was interesting because I thought it was quite boring because they nullify each other. But when you start seeing the intricacy, the skill, you start to appreciate that this is absolutely chess with bodies, isn't it? Yeah, without doubt. Like you said there, when they're nullifying each other's techniques like that, it's, it is just because they are both so good. They're both so smart. It's not just throwing arms and legs everywhere. It's just subtle stuff, the subtle footwork, the subtle little fakes, the subtle slips. That's when they'll make a gap and that's when they'll exploit it. Sancho did it twice beautifully in that round. Made the kick miss. Big kick across the back, very high scoring technique, that's just took him the round. Well, there you go. So, a lot of happy smiling faces here in Thailand as we watch Yokao number five. An extremely exciting crowd, excited crowd, an extremely excited commentator as well, me, Vinny Shawman. And we're just getting a great education of the art of Muay Thai from Liam Harrison as we move into round three. Yep, still a very close fight. He's Rome one, and no one's going for the boxing or the elbows yet really, I thought we would have seen that with a knockout bonus that hand, but obviously the win's the most important thing, so they're both playing the points game, and there we go, three big kicks from above to start the round. Nice catch from Sanchai. So long, both of them have been around so long yet. Still in prime condition, it's incredible what they do. Still very sharp. Oh, there it is for the first time, the cartwheel. He had to do that, didn't he? That's his trademark, <laughs> he has to do that. He's taking this one serious, Santa, which I'm pleased about. Because yeah. Sing Dam's not come to play, definitely, without doubt. No, he has been slamming them right kicks and left kicks from well, Sancho nice there. Score. Really nice, underneath, clever. Oh, beautiful. Just picking it up again a little bit more now in this last round, Sanchai. Starting to just, just pull it slightly away with the points. Oh, and again, kick for kick for kick, beautiful. The cleaner, the cleaner work did come from Sanchai again, though. Little shuffle there by Sanchai, just trying to sing them off. Let's like see sing them do a little bit more work, though, Liam. Yeah, definitely. I think he's in the last round. I'm not sure whether he's conceding defeat or a little bit. Maybe he knows Sanchez is just slightly ahead. This is what can happen to... This is what can happen sometimes. It can put people off. We'd like to see a fight and for them to go for it. But, you know, sometimes it's just uh, admitting that, yeah, you've, it's, it's your day. But still, it's hard for the crowd to get that. Yeah, especially with the, the knockout bonus at hand as well, I thought. Might see well, you were right you? you trying to knock the chins off. I'd be doing that from round one with a knockout board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Knockout board or not, that's what I'd be trying to do. I'd just like to see a little bit more going on, but like I said, you can't force them to fight. It's just what they do. It's unusual to see that in a three-round fight, though, isn't it? Because normally the fifth round they do this. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the buff, the buff know that Sunshine might be just slightly ahead here and um, they're just playing around a little bit. The scoring techniques of Sanchai sneaking around. The little intricate moves that he does, so subtle to do, and it's just it takes a blessing that I don't think they can be taught, Liam, to be honest. I just it's something he can do. Yeah, it is. his awareness is absolutely unbelievable. I just seen there the way he were leaning back out of the way, some of the those right kicks from Singdam, which were delivered with Speed and accuracy was absolutely unreal. Well, there you go then. So we await the decision. And our expert resident, Liam Harrison, saying that it's two rounds to Sanchai. 
and and a maybe a drawn round or ten with a dot. A Singda. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we yeah, I think uh, Singda might, might have just nicked the first and round, but Sancho winner. picked it up and he did in some nice kicks across the back. Uh, some nice off balancing Sanchez techniques and take downs. I think that might have just taken him the win here. And your appreciation, please, for a Singda Yapnuka. Well, there you go, a correct call by Liam. So Sunshine moves on, the Yoko sponsored star goes to Sparkle <laughs> in the ring. I'm sure we're gonna see him again, but we'll see Singdam Cat Moon 9 again, I'm sure, very, very soon. brings us to the end of another fantastic Yokao show brought to you by Muay Thai Combat Mania. Thank you so much for coming along. From FightSportMC.com, I've been Dougie McAdam, you've been fantastic. Thank you, good night. Mm -hmm.